Why hello, I'm Noel. Today, let's combine layers from Beyblade Burst God with high drivers and discs from TV and PU series. Oh my god, this is going to be fun, don't you think? So, I wanted to be clear about high drivers. Obviously, drivers with the word high in its name, such as high revolve, high extend plus touch, these ones count. But how about drivers that are technically not high drivers but do have a certain amount of height, such as Mobius, or even Dimension can be high. But if we start to include all these drivers, it's going to be complicated, so let's not include these ones, but let's include the drivers that are new from DB and BU, such as Quattro and Kick. And here I have some God series Beyblade, we have Twin Nemesis, Legend Spriggan, Drain Fafni, Ark Bahamut, and Spriggan Requiem. So I got some of these Beyblade from the Bay Hunting in Chiba. That was such a fun experience purchasing secondhand base. Thank you so much for commenting and if you haven't watched it, go watch it. So let's start from Spriggan Requiem. This one's very easy. Let's keep the mode change gimmick from the Zeta driver. So that means Quattro, no, Quattro Dash from Zest Achilles. As for the disc, I think Over is a good choice. I mean, it's kind of similar to the Zero disc and it matches Sprig and Requiem's form. Oh, so this is like a Beyblade in high mode, right? Okay, I mean, looks good. It's very good, very simple, very clean, has dual spin along with four modes from the Quattro Dash driver, so eight modes in total. That's a lot for a God Series Beyblade. Here we have another dual spin Spriggan, Legend Spriggan. As for this one, it wouldn't be fair if we simply chose the Quattro driver since Spriggan Requiem has the Quattro Dash driver. So let's use High Extend Plus Dash. This driver has three modes, a very powerful driver. As for the disc, let's use the new illegal disc. This is also a disc full of potential, I think. And now we have Legend Spriggan with illegal and high extent plus dash. Wow, <laughs> interesting. I'm curious to know which one do you prefer, Spriggan Requiem or Legend Spriggan? Let me know in the comments below. As for Drain Fafnir, I'm still hesitating. I mean, using the kick driver sounds like an interesting option. Look at the colors. I think it's the same color, isn't it? Like this transparent orange color is beautiful. And these drivers both have spring inside, so they seem to be a great match. But I'm not so sure because um, I really want this evolved Drain Fafnir to be good. I'm not saying that the kick driver is bad at all. I personally like the kick driver, but I think for today's video, High Revolve is an interesting option. So High Revolve is actually pretty rare, you know, and it's a good driver, it's very good, it's very good. It matches the color of Drain Favnir's layer, I think. And as for the disc, let's use Taper. I mean, to show respect to Vanish Favnir. So this is super fun, look at this shape. It's weird, I mean, I haven't seen a Beyblade like this before because the, the disc is slightly wider than the layer. So these bases that we're using today is kind of depending on which discs we use. For now, over seems like a great option, but let's try using as many discs as possible. We never know which one's good with God Layer series. As for Twin Nemesis, I think that the Takaratomi booster stock combo has the um, ultimate reboot driver, but in the anime, I think the character called Norman, he was using Jaggy driver. So this is also an easy choice. I will be using High Jaggy Dash, along with the Fortress disc. And it looks good, it looks very good. So it's sharp, you can see many spikes from the High Jaggy Dash driver. Also the Fortress disc has some spikes here, so I'm really counting on this combo. I personally like the design for Twin Nemesis, really cool. Finally, we have Ark Bahamut. 
This bay has the atomic driver, so using the atomic dash driver seems natural, but as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to stick to high drivers, and that's why I'm not going to pick atomic dash, even if it's a good option. I didn't want to ruin today's video's concept, so let's use moment instead. Along with the moment driver comes the giga disk. And this is also nice because Giga and Moment are both part of the stock combo of Roar Bahamut. So this is also like another legacy combo from Bahamut. So now we have our combos here. Which one do you think is the strongest? In the test battles, I will be using these bays against each other, but also these bays against Beyblade from other series. Chozy, yes? GT? Sparking? Do you think that's going to be fair? We don't know, but these bays have been upgraded with DBBU disc and high drivers, so maybe they do stand a chance. Before we get into the battles, make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, I also have Twitter, so feel free to check these accounts as well. Okay, are you ready? Moving on to test battles. Let's go! 3, 2, 1, go! Shoot! Yeah. 